What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you a very special video. If you guys missed the last video, the very last video that I uploaded, make sure you check that out. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description. What I'm talking about is the 5v5 uh, tournaments going on right now, the CWL bi week event. It's best uh, uh, two out of three, 5v5. One Town Hall 11, three Town Hall 10s, and one Town Hall 9. And in our, if we go ahead and check out our war log, we lost our, in the first round, we lost our first war, uh, ended up winning the next two in a row to take down Dunder Mifflin. And then in the second round that we were in, we warred the guys and girls from Boom. If I'm not mistaken, I believe these are the clan members from Cold September. I might be wrong on that, but I'm but I'm pretty sure we're gonna. And as you guys see, we went we won uh, this round 2-0. So we now advance. I believe it's the the final eight wars are gonna be going down today, uh, Friday. So uh, definitely check that out. But we have some incredible attacks to show you guys. Uh, I will be showing you guys my 10v10. I did have a 10v10 uh, from this war. We got the victory 14 to 12. And for those of you guys that don't know, and, and because I'm in the war, it's really hard because I'm on voice. You know, we're planning. It's it's only 30 minutes. It's a 50 minute prep, 30 minute war. I want to bring you guys all the live action, but I'm still doing attacks, you know, within the last two minutes of war. So it's really, really difficult. So, I mean, just seeing the stars on the map, it, it does not paint the picture of the freaking madness going on and the strategy behind winning these tiny wars. But it's it's freaking insane. Just take my word for it. So what they ended up doing in the first war is they had to do a 11 v 11 attempt on PSC. They were not able to get his base doubled. They ended up dipping me. They did not have a 10 v 10. And they did clear our nine uh, with their nine on their side. We did the same thing. I'll go ahead and, and show uh, this attack from Legit Black, AKA Ozil, who is actually our fearless leader in Banhammer. After this attack, I'll show you guys my 10v10, and then I'm gonna show you the war that all you guys are here for. Uh, just wait until you guys see the results of the war. But we're gonna go ahead and start off with Ozil's attack. But I'm, but I'm telling you guys, the way these wars break down, 30 minutes doesn't, I mean, it seems like a, a, enough time, but before you know it, you look up and you have 12 minutes left in war and you know you still have two attacks to do, uh, but it's freaking insane, you know, hoping that your nines clear nines. If not, you have to dip down and clear it. You know, wondering if you should 10v11 or just go for an 11v11 attempt. Is the other clan uh, gonna be getting a 10v10? Like I, like I said, there is a lot of strategy. What I'm hoping for to bring you guys, the CWO administrative staff is trying to work out a streaming schedule uh, because we're getting in, you know, we're getting to the very end. I, uh, I believe it's the final, the final eight uh, wars go down tomorrow. Uh, then it'd be the semifinals. And then we're going to have the finals, if I'm not mistaken, on Sunday, I think. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure the finals are going to be on Sunday. Uh, but they're trying to figure out what, what, how the streaming schedule is going to work. What I'm hoping for, I want to bring you guys one of these uh, via live stream, which I, you know, which I can turn into a video. And check this out: we had what two, uh, two troll Teslas over on the far right hand side and the far left hand side of the base. Pretty much swagged that heel. GG to Ozil. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping I can do one of these live. You guys have to see it live to really understand the madness behind these wars. I mean, combined, if you think of it this way, um, each clan has 10 attacks. So that's 20 attacks in 30 minutes. I mean, that should paint a clear enough picture for you guys. Okay, that was a dip. Okay, that was another dip because we did actually get a 10 v 11 attack on their number one. I'm going to show you guys my 10 v 10 uh, triple. And then we'll go ahead and get into uh, the just just wait till you guys see it. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm just gonna wait till you guys see it. So we're we'll be ta uh, taking on this base with hogs, uh, dropping down a few giants to tank these point defenses because I want this golem 
to be at full health uh, before we get into the Inferno Towers, which is just going to melt because we are going to be getting quite a few point defenses and the bomb tower down. Uh, so Golem's still at full health just by dropping those giants, uh, those few giants that tank for that Golem. And we go ahead and drop down a jump. No wall breakers. Rage leading everything. And, and notice, I did not bring, I did not bring bowlers to this attack. I figured with the golem, or you know, just a CB entry with the heroes behind, I would be able to get everything that I wanted. Uh, I actually thought the queen was going to path up and take out the inferno tower, but this actually worked out better by her taking out the bomb tower, allowing me to uh, shift my heals where I can heal a little bit further in the base. If that bomb tower was still up, uh, that would have really changed uh, not only the pathing of the hogs, but how I would end up dropping down my heal spells. Uh, the second heal uh, goes right over the bomb tower inside of that core. And I had a nice split right here. Uh, those five or six hogs took out the giant bomb while the big bulk of the hogs were inside of the core. And they did one run one uh, multi-target inferno tower went ahead and dropped the heal spill on that nice splits from the hogs throughout this base uh, and check out the this baby dragon is what saved this raid i dropped down that baby dragon to tank not only the tesla but more importantly that wizard tower uh, making sure that those hogs would stay up last defense down is the inferno tower uh, but those were the two highlight attacks i want to give a big shout out to poor self-control uh, being that we only have one Town Hall 11 um, in, our, in these last two rounds, so a total of five wars, he has not had a dip fail. We've been clearing nines with nines, which has helped, and we're picking up 10v10. So that was the only 10v10 of the war on either side. So now we'll go ahead. What's current? Okay, we can click on. There we go. Current war. Beautiful. So this was the second war. So we go ahead and did the first one. And it, remember, it's, it's best two out of three. So you're always going to be doing a second war. So this was the second war. If you guys didn't notice, I'll go ahead and point out for you. We did a perfect war. The first perfect war that I have ever been involved in. Check that out, guys. 100% total destruction, clearing all of the bases. It just, it was an incredible performance uh, from our clan. I just could not believe it. Uh, we only had about six people in the chat, but trust me, there was a lot of hype. Uh, coming from just, uh, just from the six of us. Unfortunately, we did have to dip down on the nine. We're going to go ahead and check out this attack. This was my second 10v10 of the war. We'll go ahead and check this one out. Uh, so we're going to be doing a queen walk bitch. Check this out. Look at the value from these rock skips. I'm uh, going to be taking out uh, two bowlers, taking out two bomb towers. And then we're going to be also bowler skipping the mortar over at nine o'clock. Uh, and again, this is going to be a queen walk bitch. So we have queen over here at three o'clock, uh, hoping that she paths up and we are just going to be bringing one golem and we're going to have, uh, 14 bowlers heading into this base. Uh, and we have three witches and four bowlers on the flank down here. So again, just one golem going to go ahead and jump in, uh, just a traditional, you know, spell placement that you see on any bitch attack, uh, jump spell down. Obviously the key is making sure that that funnel gets set and all those bowlers go inside of the core and pretty much immune when they're under not only rage, but that, uh, heal spell, uh, just tearing up the core. It was a damage CC went ahead and double poisoned it. Uh, queen going nice and strong on the flanks. Check out this flank right here. And we did know that there was a giant bomb right there uh, between those dark barracks. Just dropped two wall breakers to go ahead and negate that. And look at these bowlers through the core. The rock skips ended up taking out uh, that single shot inferno tower. Uh, but this base pretty much got wrecked. We're going to be swagging queen ability. All kinds of bowlers up. The flank survived. Uh, but that was my 10v10 triple from uh, the second war. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys one of the 10v10s from Tad. And then I'm going to show you guys our 11 v 11 three star. Again, it's three town hall tens. Um, so we cleared two of them. We had two 10 v 10s this war. Uh, PSC dipped the third 10. So clearing nines, clearing tens, and then PSC grabbing 11 v 11 three star. But before that, we had to check out this epic queen charge Lalo. Starting queen over here at two o'clock. 
uh, baby dragon saying the funnel to make sure that that queen paths down. And we got a uh, tiny key walk down here. We do know that there are two Teslas behind the cannon and that elixir storage. So one wall breaker is down. King is taking the Tesla to make sure we get that successful wall break. And those wall breakers somehow ended up popping that wall before the mini bomb uh, went down. So it goes ahead and drops down to rage and about five more wall breakers, making sure um, he gets into this uh, long compartment that the bomb tower, the wizard tower is in. Not only is he gonna be taking out CC, he's gonna be taking out a wizard tower, a sweep, or actually two wizard towers, an air defense, a sweeper, and the enemy archer queen before he starts this lolo so you want to talk about value from this entry and clearly uh that king was able to take out enough uh trash buildings and defenses to make sure that, that queen passed down so right here starting his lolo over here at two o'clock where he drops down uh his camp hound here comes the cc hound Notice he has him coming in from different sides, trying to absorb as many traps as possible. Goes ahead and pops ability on his queen down there and uh, bringing in a two haste and a rage right there in the core, making sure he keeps these loons moving through this base. Another haste spell as that wizard tower uh, was being tanked by the hound. Haste goes ahead and takes out uh, that air defense and we have a rage spell for the last four defenses. This base clearly getting smashed. Huge shout out uh, to Tapple. We got something special going on, you guys, over here in Banhammer. Uh, but Tad getting that beautiful three star. Absolutely loved it. Kind of trading, kind of trading attacks on that one. Uh, but absolutely loved it. Uh, this was the dip from PSC. Now we're going to go ahead and check out the last attack. This is going to be the 11 v 11 triple. So we have a wall breaker down here at 12 o'clock, uh, mini bomb pop, but you know, made sure that he didn't send all his wall breakers in, just testing out the area. Uh, drops down his healers. That was unfortunate. Right off the bat, dropped down uh, his healers, and there's a seeking air mine up there, uh, kind of anticipating a charge from up here at the top. Um, but still, with three more uh, max level uh, five healers on that queen, going to be plenty. Uh, so here we go. Uh, just gonna be doing uh, kind of, I mean, it's not even a queen walk, just a queen charge at 12 o'clock into, I guess you would say, a bowler smash. Um, but he does have witches, so I guess it is, I guess it is like a queen charge, uh, bitch attack, if you will. Uh, but a jump spell leading right there into the core, followed by rage, good warden ability as he was taking fire from not only the eagle artillery but all kinds of point defenses as he's making his way into this core. Wait till you see how close this attack gets when we first when we were watching this live this was the last attack of the war when we were watching this live we were thinking this is going to be a one star uh and, and trying to do the math and what they were doing because they had like two attacks going on in the last couple minutes we did not know if getting that one star what it was going to do if we were actually going to lose but check out what his his queen this would have actually gone good with the Super Queen video uh, that I did. This queen just keeps on going and pay close attention to these bowlers. So if you look at what's left, we still have, so we have no more queen ability. We got a few bowlers and a couple witches down here at the bottom. We still have a bomb tower up and two inferno towers, but we do still have the warden that is behind that queen. So right as the inferno tower is gonna get on full pound mode, uh, Queen ends up taking out that Inferno Tower just in time. She's going to beat through the wall right out of range. But as you see with those skeletons, they're actually tanking for the IT. And the Warden uh, took a couple shots on that Inferno Tower. For whatever reason, switched over to the Town Hall. But this is clearly going to be a three-star IT down the Town Hall. Saving the best for last. The Town Hall, the last building to go down, you guys. And check that out. A perfect war, 100% uh, total destruction. I cannot believe it. Uh, huge shout out to everybody over in Banhammer. Huge shout out to everybody over in Boom. Uh, it was a very, very fun war. Best of luck to you guys in the rest of your CWL uh, invite season. But again, it was a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Had a lot of, a lot of interesting attacks. And one thing you have to think about, if you even made it this far into the video, is you only have 30 minutes to do all these attacks. Uh, one, one thing people forget is sometimes on a 10v10 attack, we're planning somewhere, 
I mean, sometimes two hours on one base, you got 30 minutes to do 10 attacks. Think about that all. I mean, the very little planning you have and the amount of success we're having, we're having a lot of fun. Hopefully the journey can continue. I do not know who we're warring yet uh, later today, but definitely, definitely stay tuned to the channel. Hopefully I can get something going with streaming. Hopefully it's a war later in the evening. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, make sure you smack that like button, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Comments, questions, or concerns, of course, down in the comment section below. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.